Hello, teacher. Hello, Gabriel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How was your day? Well, um, a little bit uh, uh, moved. Okay, uh, you are at work right now, no? Yeah, yes, of course. Okay. Um, ready for the weekend or you don't have weekends? Yes, yes. This uh, uh we we find uh, uh we finish the the week on Friday. On um, Saturday and Sunday, they are day off. Oh, great! So, for for a corporative English, it could be better for you to work on the weekends. Yeah. Yes, because you 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 will have less problems, uh, schedule problems. Exactly. But I guess that they only work from during the week but okay. it, it could be it could be nice if if they implement weekends for for people like you yeah yes uh -huh. or it is it um it's good at night too yes next week we are going to work at night yeah yeah is is the last week okay exactly for the well, reason sometimes i i didn't connect and the during uh, in the afternoon yes uh-huh i don't know why they put this 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 i i thought you request for it yeah because um it's a mix of three chief oh okay uh huh. Okay. Uh, in each, uh, um, at the first uh course, uh, I I add to the, um a one chef that they work uh five days um on the days and five at night, and so um, I I have to accommodate to that uh chef and its course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But well, are they, but are they are you, that? I I am I, I feel like you are learning because I I remember that I I have asked you to make your own sentences and you do it well with the with the uh, verb list I provide you remember mm. and you change the sentences from affirmative to negative and all that and to interrogative so i guess that you are doing well uh, because it, it is not easy to make your own sentences in another language yeah yeah it's because it's, it's, it's not the same to read yeah than to make your own sentences is is very yeah different. exactly but i am proud of, of all of you because you you can do it and and yeah. you are just in pre intermediate, so you are not even at the middle of the course, and you are doing yes. Work. I I start uh study and I left um uh, around six years ago. I was studying English and I I uh I gone to uh, at the intermediate level, but uh the the enterprise uh, uh didn't uh, give you the course and then i don't do anything to to try uh, learning but um i had to opportunity to try to speak with uh english people and that gave me a a chance to learn a little bit more. Yes, and, and it is good because you also get your certificates, and that's good. But uh, because sometimes people say, "I know English," but you don't have a a, a paper to prove it. 
but here yeah, yeah. they they provide you something to prove it okay yeah is which is very good okay hi uriel hi teacher now we are going to uh, work with some things in present continuous okay and could you read the thought for today uriel Okay, teacher. Education is not feeling a pale, but the lighting of a fire. Okay, the lighting of a fire. Okay, <laughs> you are not feeling something. You are giving light. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. uh, this is like a review from what we have been seeing yesterday. Uh, the structure for accepting an invitation. Uh, read, uh, Gabriel, the first sentence, please. I would like to go to her new house. Irving, the second one. I would love to go to her new house. Okay, remember that we may use, with good, we may use good like and good love. I will love. Now, a structure for refusing an invitation. Okay, uh, Gabriel, read the first one. I'd love to go to her new house, but I can't. Uh, Uriel, the second one. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Okay, uh, if if you notice, uh, it, it is... Uh, you are refusing the invitation, but you are being polite. Okay. And this is the first objective for section five. Okay. In this section, participants will be able to listen to a conversation about families using present continuous. Okay. The present continuous, we uh, use it with the verb to be and the other verbs with ing. Okay, the ing, it is known as ing, gerund, or uh, uh, present participle, okay, is the ing form. Okay, and now follow the reading. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an, in what an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother, he's traveling in the Amazon. Okay. Now. Repeat after me. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? Oh, oh what, does, what she do? does she do? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. She's, She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? Wow. Wow, and what, and what about, about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. He is a He's wildlife a wildlife photographer. 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 What an interesting family. What, what an interesting family. Can I meet them? 
Can I meet them? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. My sister is away. My sister is away. She's not working in the United States this month. She's, She's not, not working in the United States this month. And your brother? And, and your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling, He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, and let's make the knowledge check. Aquí acuérdense que ya vamos adelantando, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, am I sharing? Estoy eh, compartiéndoles la pantalla, ¿sí? Yes. Ok. Now, look at Sam's family tree. How are these people related to him? Write the answers on the spaces provided. You just need to type the name, not a sentence. Do not include the period. Okay? Uh, this is Sam's family tree. Let's see, where is Sam? This is Sam. Okay, so these are his parents. parents. Yes, his parents, and these ones are uncles, uncle and, uncles. and aunt. Okay, uncle and aunt, and these ones are Grand grandparents. Grandparents. And this one is brother in law. No, his no his brother, direct uh -huh. brother. Okay. Yeah. Brother. And this one is wife. His wife. His wife. Okay. And this one is sister in law. His sister and brother. Sister in law. And this one is a cousin, 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 cousin. Her, uh, his cousin. Okay. And this is the uncle. This is brother, and this is grandmother. And he is his brother, oh. and her, his sister-in-law, and they have children. So he is the nephew and she? Cousin. No. So nephew. Nephew niece. and niece. 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 Okay. Now, let's see. Andy, the grandfather. Marta, the grandmother. Chris, his father. And Sarah, the mother. But see this. <laughs> uh, they are the grandparents from mother. his mother, okay? But his mother has a brother, okay? So the real uncle is Manuel. Donna is a noun, but is uh, a... Because he's married to his uncle, okay? Let's see. Andy is Sam's grandfather, and Martha is his grandmother. Grandmother. Chris is Sam's brother. Father. No, father. Chris. Chris. This one. Mm -hmm. Chris is Sam's father. Manuel. Manuel is Sam's. Brother, she's, she's, uncle, she's brother. uncle. Sam I, is he, married to Yumiko. She is his wife. Wife. 
Sam has a brother. He is married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Okay. Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. She is Sam's cousin. 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 Jim and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's niece. Niece. And Jimmy is his nephew. nephew. Okay, now you read it, please. Uh, Gabriel, you start. Andy is Sam's grandfather, and Marta is his grandmother. Muriel? Chris is, Chris is Sam's father. Father, okay. Now, uh, next. Manuel is Sam's uncle. Uh -huh. Okay, number four. Sam is married to Yumiko. She is his wife. Gabriel? Sam has a brother. He is married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's sister-in-law. Teresa, the, Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. She is Sam's cousin. Okay, now Gabriel. Jim and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's niece and Jimmy is his nephew. Okay, let's check. Right. Okay. Right. Eh, espero que este fin de semana comiencen ya con el con el quinto. Terminaron el cuarto ayer, ¿verdad? Yes. Porque si no lo van a empezar a, a, a mandar mensajes que no han terminado, que no sé qué. <ríe> ok. Nada. Ya estuvimos con esto. No, lesson objective. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions using the present continuous. Okay. Eh, ¿Con qué les dije que se usaba el, verb, el present continuous? With, With verb to be. O sea, el verbo to be sería el auxiliar en, en present continuous, pero se utiliza tanto en afirmativo, negativo e interrogativo. O sea, a diferencia de presente simple, no vamos a ocupar el auxiliar solamente cuando estemos hablando negativo e interrogativo, sino que lo vamos a estar usando en las tres formas, en afirmativo, en negativo y en interrogativo. Entonces, eh, ¿Cuándo utilizamos el present progressive tense? Eh, o sea, el present continuous es lo mismo que decir present progressive. Utilizamos el verbo to be, o sea, según le pertenezca, ya sea I, he, she, it, or, eh, or eh, eh, we, you, they, ¿ok? Según le pertenezca. And the present participle. Este present participle es el que les digo que es también conocido como gerundio o como ing form. O sea, si usted escucha cualquiera de esas tres cosas, es lo mismo. O sea, el verbo que termina en ing. Entonces, y aquí está una, una, o sea, lo, una línea de tiempo donde nos dice que este es el pasado que este es el presente y que este es el futuro. Entonces, Tony is writing a book. It's an ongoing activity now. O sea, es algo que él está haciendo actualmente. He is writing a book. Entonces, we are moving to Iceland next year. Uh, we may use it also for future planet activities. O sea, esto ya lo tienen ellos planeado. Saben que se van a mudar el siguiente año. Entonces, ocupan eh, también el, el present progressive, ¿verdad? Para 
referirnos a un futuro que ya está planeado. Bien. Entonces, Gabriel, léame la primera pregunta y sus respuestas cortas. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Vale, estas son respuestas cortas. Entonces, si se fijan, solo es el yes or no, coma, el sujeto y el auxiliar. ¿Ok? Y en este caso, el auxiliar más el not. Este, Uriel, la segunda. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. No, she is not. Ok. Todas esas son igual que, la, que lo que les dije anteriormente, respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? Este, para el presente continuo, siempre vamos a utilizar el verbo to be como auxiliar. Eh, Gabriel. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. No, they are, they are not. Ok. Eh, aquí eh, le, me, les estoy poniendo los diferentes tipos de contracciones. Una es el verbo, el, el, el auxiliar con not contractado y el otro es el sujeto con el verbo to be contractado. ¿Verdad? Eh, Uriel. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. Ok. Esto es, si, si se fijan, está preguntando por información. Entonces, ya no se puede contestar solo con yes, no. Dígame. Ok. Now. Eh, what is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Ok, now Uriel. Who are your parents visiting this weekend? This week. They are visiting my grandmother. Ok. Now, in the present, uh, the simple present versus present continuous. O sea, aquí les estoy haciendo un comparativo. Affirmative, she works. Sujeto y verbo. Eh, y en el otro sería... She is working, o sea, sujeto, verbo to be y el verbo en presente participio, ¿verdad? O gerundio, o ing form. She is working. She is working. She works, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, para las yes no questions, el verbo to be, sujeto, el verbo en ing y el complemento. Are you working as a scientist? Repeat, please. Are you working as a scientist? Hoy lea el segundo. Is he studying at university? Is he studying at university? J -j -j university. Okay. Univers J -j university. University. Uh, are we living in El Salvador? Are we living in El Salvador? Okay. Now, examples. Is she eating? Is she eating? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she's not. Are we staying at home? Are we staying at home? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. But for WH questions. WH word, verb to be, subject, 
uh, ing form and complement. Now, uh, read the first one, please. Where are you working as a scientist? What is he studying at university? How are we living in El Salvador? Okay. Now, uh, give me complete answers. Where are you working as a scientist? Uh, no, I am not working as a scientist. Okay. What is he studying at university? He is studying uh, law. Okay. And how are we living in El Salvador? It's, it's pretty good living in El Salvador. Okay. Now, what is she eating? Answer, please. She is eating pizza. Okay, now you make the question. Why are we staying at home? How, uh, why are we staying at home? At home. Because when, when you when they ask why, you answer because. Say so you listen por qué, you say dice por qué. Okay? You listen por qué, you say por qué because of the pandemic situation that because of the pandemic situation okay spelling rules Mira, estas son las reglas para crear el ing para los verbos entonces most verbs just add ing Mira, la mayoría de verbos solo agregan ing for example work working by buying verbs ending in e remove the e and add add ing for example take taking write writing so if you fija, they drop the e and add ing okay verbs mm -hmm. ending in one vowel follow by one consonant, double the consonant and add ing. O sea, por ejemplo, este. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Duplica la última consonante y agrega ing. Get, getting, run, running. Pero en el caso de open es opening. Pero es porque no son solo tres letras. Eh, aquí hay otra nota donde se dice que die is dying. O sea, aquí no solamente drop the i en in, in add ing, sino que se cambia la y por i latina y se le agrega ing. Porque si no, o sea, estaría como repitiendo dos i, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo mismo aquí, lie, lying. Uh, die, dying, lie, lying. Okay. Okay. Now, read the next one, please. This things happen is now. Okay. To describe act, an action in progress. Try an action in progress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where is John? In his room. Okay. He is or he's he is good. doing he is his doing homework. Mm -hmm. He's doing his homework. He is doing his homework. You're speaking too fast for me. You are speaking too fast for me. Okay. Now, temporary activities. Okay. To describe short term or temporary situations. We are learning about trees this week. Okay, repeat please. We are learning about trees this week. Okay, my brother is staying with friends in London. 
My brother is staying with friends in London. Until he finds somewhere to live. Until he finds somewhere to live. Situations of change. Situation of change. The hole in the ozone layer is getting bigger. The hole in the ozone layer is getting bigger. The number of pupils in the school is falling. The number of pupils in, in the school is falling. Future arrangements. Future arrangement. We're flying to Spain on a school trip next month. We are flying to Spain on a short trip next month. I'm seeing the head teacher after class. I'm seeing the head teacher after class. Okay, any doubts? Alguna duda o consulta? Duda no, bueno, no, no hay problema. Vale, entonces, saca tu lista de verbos. Ok. Vale. Y con la lista de verbos, vamos a ver cuál es la regla que se... que se... que se aplica para el present participle. En el caso de B, este, solo se le agrega ING. Aquí no, no se le hace eso de que drop de, de I, ¿verdad? Sino que pone being. ¿Ok? En become. Becoming. Drop de I. O sea, se, se le quita la E y se le agrega ING. En el caso de begin. Beginning. Double the N. Yes. Se duplica la N y se le agrega ING. Mm. Uh, what about break? Just a ING, breaking. Breaking, ajá. Uh -huh. And bring. Bringing, bringing. Yes, se le agrega ing, o sea, amba, o sea, termina en ing, pero se le tiene que agregar ing, ok, bring, bringing, mm. and build, building, building, buy, buying, catch, catching, catching. choose, choosing, se le quita la e. e, se le quita la e, ¿ok? Come, coming, también se le quita la e. Cut, cutting, add the another t. Se duplica la t, así es. Cutting, do, doing, doing, se, solo se le agrega ing. Drink, drinking, dry. Yes, Driving, remove the e. Se le quita la e, ajá. Eat. Eating. Solo se le agrega ing. Ahí no se duplica la t porque la que está antes de la, de la vocal es otra vocal. Entonces ajá. tiene que ser consonante, vocal, consonante. ¿Ok? Now, eh, feel. Feeling. Fight. Fighting. Find. Find. Finding. Ok. Este, Gabriel, vamos a retroceder un poquito aquí. Ok. ¿Qué joven está su, su, su jefe? Sí. Un hondureño que ha venido por ahí como asesor. 
Ah, no. Y está no, encargado, está encargado no trabaja, también. No trabaja directamente ahí de siempre, sino que acaba eh, de llegar. Eh, ajá. Sí, por el momento está como sin meses, no sé si va a quedar. Ya, que lo metan en el curso de inglés. <risa> Para que en lugar de, de, irle, de irlo a interrumpir, mejor él esté en clases también. ¿Verdad? <risa> pues sí. Vale, sí. Eh, eh, estos son los spelling rules. ¿Verdad? Entonces, a la mayoría, para estamos viendo cómo es que se hace para el eh, presente, eh, para poner el, el, el presente, eh, perdón, sí, Pre present par participó, ¿verdad? Para poner eh, esto en gerundio, present participó o ing form, ¿verdad? Entonces, la mayoría de los verbos solo se les agrega ing. Y ahí ponen unos ejemplos. A los verbos que terminan en e, se les quita la e y se agrega ing. Vea, take, taking, write, writing. Los verbos que terminan en una vocal que está eh, seguida. seguida por una consonante, se duplica la consonante, por ejemplo, get, getting, o sea, consonante, vocal, consonante, get, getting, se duplica, run, running. Run. Ok. Eh, aquí está, está en esta nota. Cuando termina die, o sea, d i e, no es que se le quita esto y se le agrega ing, además, se pone en vez de la I latina, una Y y se le agrega ING. ¿Verdad? Lo mismo aquí. En vez de I latina, Y y se le agrega ING. Ok. Entonces, estas spelling rules las estamos aplicando con la lista de verbos. Ah, ok. ¿Verdad? Entonces ahora eh, estaríamos en fine finding fly flying. Aquí solo se le agrega ing. ¿Y cómo quedaría forget? For... Forgetting. Forgetting se le duplica la t, ¿verdad? Porque va consonante, vocal, consonante. consonante. Se le duplica la t. Forgetting. En el caso de forgive, Forgiving. Ajá, se, se le quita la E y se le agrega ING. Y get, getting, getting. getting duplicando la T. ¿Ok? Give, giving. Se le quita la E y se le agrega ING. ¿Ok? Entonces, como ya vimos que ya pueden hacer el presente participio, hoy con cualquiera de estos verbos vamos a hacer eh, así, oraciones en afirmativo y después al otro compañero le vamos a decir que las pase a negativo o a interrogativo. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir I am becoming an English translator. ¿Verdad? Me estoy convirtiendo en una traductora del inglés. I am becoming. ¿Verdad? Eh, entonces yo le podría decir, Uriel, could you change it to negative, please? You are becoming in an English translator. Ajá. But in, in negative. Are you are. I, You are. I am not. I ah. am not. Ah, in, in primera persona. I am not becoming in a. I am doing. I am uh -huh. becoming. I am not becoming in a English translator. English translator. Excellent. Now, uh, do your own sentence. Eh, eh, la puede hacer ah. pregunta o la puede hacer negativa o la puede hacer afirmativa y le dice a sus compañeros que se la pasen a otro forma. 
Okay. Uh -huh. uh, are you drinking soda? Drinking soda? Okay. Uh -huh. transform in, in a question. Uh, no, tú le estás haciendo pregunta. Ah, sí, sí, sí por eso, eh, que la pase a negativo. Uh, ¿A quién? A Gabriel. Gabriel. I am not drinking soda. Excellent. Now make your own sentence. I am choosing a verse right now. <laughs> <risa> eh, Suleima, eh, 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 Suleima, ajá, ¿en qué quiere que se la haga? ¿Negativa o eh, interrogativa? Eh, negativo, negativo. Suleima. I am not choosing a pair right now. Excellent. Now do your, your own sentence. Mm -hmm. um, I am not buying a uh, house right now ok ¿quién quiere que se lo cambie y a, y a, y a qué tipo de forma? a uh, question Uriel eh, am I buying a house? excellent now do your own sentence eh, si quieren, ocupan otros, otras personas gramaticales para que no estén solo con ay, ay, ay. Les va a doler la cabeza. <risa> He's reading. He's reading a new book. Is he or is she? Is he or is she? He, he is reading a new book. He is reading a new book. Ok. And a question, Gabriel. Is he a new book? No, is he? Question. Is he reading a new book? Excellent. Now do another one. Um, she is listening. Uh, music. Uh, he, she is uh, listening bachata music now. Okay. And Suleima and a question. Is she listening a bachata music? Excellent. Okay, now make your own sentence. Mm. Uh, Uriel is eating an apple. Okay. Mm, negative. Uriel. Uriel is not <laughs> eating an apple. Usted podría decir, I am not eating an apple. <laughs> 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 okay, now. Um... Any questions? Uh, Fíjense que aquí ya están ocupando ustedes la, las oraciones, tanto afirmativas, negativas e interrogativas, en presente continuo. ¿Verdad? Y las están haciendo ustedes mismos con lo, solo la lista de verbos que está ahí. Vale, una consultita. ¿Cómo iría letting? Letting. Uh -huh. Double T. Okay, double T. Y put? Putting. Putting. Double T. Putting. Double T. Yes, run. Running. Running. Double T. And what about C? Esta es una, esta es una exception to the rule. Exception. O sea, aquí, a pesar de que termina en E, no le va a quitar usted la E, sino que va a poner sí. O sea, solo le agrega sí. ING. Y en el caso de singing. Singing. 
thinking. Okay. O sea, le agrega solamente ing. O sea, que a pesar, hay gente que se confunde, como miran que termina en ing, creen que no hay necesidad de, de, de agregarle, pero sí, se le agrega después de esta ing y se le agrega otra ing. Ok. Bien, entonces, este, ¿quieren seguir haciendo sus propias oraciones o prefieren ir a practicar lectura? In my case, practicar lectura. Ok. Bueno, vamos con la lectura. Ah, siempre aquí. Se me olvida que aquí... Que aquí, aquí tengo la lectura. De... Ok. Now, repeat after me. Stuck in an airport. Stuck, Stuck, in, an Stuck in an airport. What to do? What to do? What, What, to, to, do? Do? What do people usually do while they're waiting in an airport? What, what, what do people, people usually, usually do while they wearing in an airport? Many people are upset when their flight is delayed. Many people are upset when their flight is delayed. Not upset. only do they have to change their schedule, Not only do they have, have to change the schedule, but schedule, 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 but even worse, but, but even, even worse, they had to wait in an airport. They had they to, had wait, to, wait, in had to wait in an airport. There's no need to be upset. There's There is not to be, to be upset. upset. So, so, airports are much better places these days. Airports, airports are, are much, much better places, places these days, days. Than, than most people realize. Most people realize. Than most people realize. Belief. O sea, creencia, creencia. Airport food is bad. Airport food is bad. As bad as airplane food. As bad as airplane food. Reality. Reality. Airports have fine international cuisine. From French fresh seafood from fresh seafood in London. To Korean barbecue in Honolulu. To Korea, Korean barbecue, barbecue in Honolulu. Okay. And you can stock up. And, and you can, can stock up. On something to have for later. On something, on something to, have to have for later. For later. For later. For later. For example, for, for example, example, cheese and caviar in Paris. Cheese and, cheese caviar, and caviar in, in Paris. Paris. Okay. Belief. Belief. Shopping in airports is great. Shopping, Shopping in airports is great. Is great. Right. 
That is, if you need a teacher. That is, that is if you, if you need, need a teacher. Reality. 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 In Amsterdam, you can buy anything. In Amsterdam, you can buy, you anything. Can buy anything. From perfume to diamonds. From perfume to diamonds. In El Paso, Texas. In El Paso, Texas. You can buy antique knives. You can take knife, knife, original art, original, original art. art. The art is so interesting that some people. There are the art is so interesting, interesting that, that some, some people, people fly to El Paso. Fly to El Paso just to visit the airport gallery. Just to visit just the to airport the gallery. Airport gallery. In Singapore's airport. In Singapore airport. Is known for some of the best shopping in the world. Is known for it's some. Not, it's known for some. Some of the best, some, the best of the shop, best shopping, shopping in, the, in world. the world. Belief. 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 Airports make people uncomfortable and tense. Airports make people uncomfortable and tense. Reality. Reality. The airport at Honolulu. The airport at Honolulu has Onolulu. peaceful gardens. Has peaceful has gardens. Pittsburgh has a meditation room. It has a meditation room. When you walk in, When you walk when in, you walking, relaxing music comes. Relaxing music comes. Relaxing music comes on. Relaxing, relaxing music. music comes on. And pictures of clouds are projected on the walls. And pictures of clouds are projected on the walls. If you prefer exercise, if you prefer exercise, 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 hotels at the airports, hotels at the airports in Los Angeles, in Los, in Los Angeles. Angeles, Dallas, Dallas. Dallas. In many other cities, in many other cities, have fitness centers, have fitness centers that anyone can use. That anyone, that anyone can use. So the next time you are stuck in an airport, so the next time you're stuck in a neighborhood, have some fun. Have some fun. Ok, entonces ahora, yo voy a empezar a leer y después voy a decir quién va a continuar. Usted sigue leyendo y después decide quién es el que va a continuar después de usted. Ok. Entonces... Stuck in an airport? What to do? What do people usually do while they're waiting in an airport? Many people are upset when their fight is delayed. Uh, Uriel. 
not only they have to change their schedule, but even worse, schedule. they schedule. have to wait. Schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. But even worse, they have to wait in April. There's no need to be upset. Airports are a much better place these days than most people realize. Continue. Did they leave airport? Uh, uh, Suleyma. Okay. Mm. Believe airport food is bad, as bad as airport food. Mm, really, reality. Airports have fine international cuisine, from fresh seafood in London to Korean barbecue in Honolulu. And you can stop at on something to have for less. For example, cheese and caviar in Paris. And believe shopping in airports is great. That is, if no, no you need a guitarra a nadie, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, Gabriel. Uh, Reality. In reality. Mm -hmm. Okay, reality. In Amsterdam, you can buy anything for, from perfume uh, to diamonds. In El Paso, Texas, you can buy antique knife or regional art. The art is so interesting that some people fly to El Paso just to visit the airport gallery. Um, Singapore's airport is known for some of the best shopping in the world. Okay. Uh, Uriel? Believe, airports make people uncomfortable and tense. Reality, the uh, uh, at Honolulu has peaceful gardens. Pittsburgh has a meditation room and you walk in, relaxing must comes, and pictures of clothes are projects on the walls. You prefer exercise, hotels and airports in Los Angeles, Dallas, and many other cities have centers that anyone can use. So, next time you are stuck in an airport, have some. Okay, excellent. Now, have a nice weekend, okay? Continue working on the platform. We are almost finishing and see you on Monday. Remember on Monday we are at night. Okay. Bye right, bye. Bye. Take care. See you next week. See you. Bye. Bye bye.